Hello everyone, it is me, Lightfeather. Last week I asked you all to give me questions for this week's Q&A on this Saturday engagement, fewer, fewer engagement Saturday, so I got actually just from one person I got some questions because other people were like I'm not watching this video all to the end because most of the time the people click away when I say like thank you for watching and at the end of the video I was like oh wait questions please but anyway I asked for some more questions on Facebook and Twitter and I got a few more questions and even though on Facebook I said please write them in English people wrote them in Dutch because okay so, another thing, there's someone sleeping in the other room, so I have to keep it up a little. So anyway, let's get going with the questions. Are you a virgin? The answer to that question is yes. How old are you? Well, I'm 17, but that, that's not... It's a funny thing, because this guy knows me in real life, so he should know that. What do you seek in a girl? Well, that's actually pretty funny, because on one hand I can be picky, but on the other hand... I'm not. But anyway, I like girls who are curvy, a nice face. Hair color or style doesn't really matter to me, but I don't like bald. I like tall girls. These were basically like the physical appearances. I like it when a girl is smart, because I want to have meaningful conversations. <laughs> Portive is always good, I guess. Yeah. And it's kind of a weird thing, but I like it when a girl can speak English properly, because in the Netherlands there are people, yeah, we can all speak English a bit, but I really, it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine to hear people talk like, oh, yesterday I saw a tree, and there were three birds in it, and they were laying eggs, and oh... That's quite annoying to me, actually, because I know I have got a Dutch accent, but I try to not have it. And I really enjoy it when a girl is able to talk English properly and fluently, because if I'd have a girlfriend, I would like her to be in my videos as well if she wanted to, because that, that would be pretty fun to be able to do that with a girl. But yeah, that, that's basically the things I'm looking for, I guess. I hope that answered your question. What is your favorite video game? Well, even though I haven't played a video game in like two months, yeah, occasionally with, like yesterday with my brother, I played some Mario Kart on the Wii. But I think my favorite game is Minecraft, it's still always Minecraft, because, you know, my, my desktop background is still Minecraft, and, oh, I kind of need to design my own. But anyway, it's always been Minecraft, it's not always been Minecraft, I've, I haven't played Minecraft, like, since I was born, because that, that's kind of weird, but, yeah, it, it's Minecraft. Now for the Twitter question. What video or channel inspired you to start YouTube? Well, I've always been making videos a bit and I think I really wanted to start YouTube after looking at... because I started with my gaming channel and I started that one. Well, I actually had a Dutch channel with Dutch sketches when I was younger, but I'm not gonna tell you about that one. But I think when I started my sketch, my, my gaming channel, it was because I always watched Bebop Fox's videos and the Minecraft Monday show, because I was really addicted to that show. And I think that's the reason I started making YouTube videos for gaming. And later on, I just wanted to pick up sketches again, like I did when I was like 12. But then this time in English and hopefully better. <laughs> Facebook questions. Who is your favorite classmate whose name starts with an R and ends with Hurt? Well, Hurt. The thing is, I asked for specifically to type it in English. And you were like, no. But anyway, the answer to the question is simple. It's this rock. This rock's name is Rapurt. So it starts with an R and ends with Earth, and he's actually at our education, at our at our school. He's currently doing web design, but his dream is to achieve successful game designer. So that's what he's going to be doing next semester. Why did you start YouTube? Dutch again. But I started YouTube because we just had the question which video or channel inspired me. But why I started YouTube is because I've always been, ever since I've had like a recording camera, I've been shooting things and I've, in the end, I, I uh, in the beginning, I found out about Movie Maker. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. And I was like, oh, you can do so much cool things with this, it's so much fun. Then I discovered Sony Vegas, which was way better, and now I use Premiere and After Effects, and I like making videos more and more. And I started doing these Dutch sketches when I was young with my friends, and later on the YouTube videos for gaming, and now these sketches and vlogs and everything, because I like every aspect of it, and now I'm even studying a subject which allows me to you know to learn more about making films and videos. So. 
it, I've actually always liked making fi films or short films or videos or whatever you want to call them. So I, I think it's, it's basically destined. When are you going to stop making YouTube videos? Never! I've had a lot of hobbies and obsessions in my day because pretty much every hobby of mine is an obsession. I'm, yeah, it is. But this one is actually so much fun because I can get all of my creativity into this and I'm studying a subject which can be related to it and it, it's all pretty much very awesome and I want to do this all my life, so never. Unless I was like forced by some, for some reason, but never. Who is the best YouTuber apart from you from your study? He makes vlogs and game videos. Describe the channel. Wow, I really wonder what channel you're hoping I would describe. But on the other hand, I knew Leroy would say this. So now you two are like fighting over it. So I, I guess I'll just have to describe both of your channels. Okay, so Jasper, you pretty much described your own channel and it's you make vlogs and apparently you're soon going to make gaming videos. And you do it all in Dutch with your friend Edgar, I think, but he hasn't posted anything yet, so okay. And Leroy, you make videos about facts every week and gaming. You, you did gaming first, now you're doing facts every week in a comical manner. So I'll just annotate both of your channels right now and in the description for finding so. If rainbows would be any other colors, what colors would they be? That's actually. A really interesting question, I don't know how to answer that yet. For some reason brown popped into my mind because I like the color brown and yellowish brown. And yeah, I think it, I think it would be brown and we would call it a, a poop bow. <laughs> if you could be any video game character, who would you be? Or anime character? Well, video game character would be... Uh, which one is it in danger all the time? Probably someone with awesome powers, like maybe the... No. Maybe one of the... No. What video game characters have awesome powers? It, it would probably be something with magic, like the wizard from Trine, or you know, the wizards from Magicka, or... Basically something with powers. I don't know. I don't play actually. I don't actually play that much games anymore. And before that, I only played Minecraft or MMORPGs. So they're not actually characters. But well, that's difficult. Anime would be. Uh, no, I wouldn't want to have a parasite in my arm. And I wouldn't really want to be a ghoul either. Though I like those animes a lot. This one actually has me thinking a lot because you know I've, I've watched quite a lot of anime. But I think I would still want to be one with special powers, but I wouldn't want to be like Yagami, which is funny because light and everything. <laughs> huh. Because, you know, he's crazy and stuff, and his soul can never go to heaven or hell, and will be forced to spend eternity in the nothingness and everything, which is something they never pay attention to again in the whole series, but eh, I think I would go for one of the fairy tale wizards, because, again, with the magic. Uh... I kind of like the ice creation magic from Grey, so I guess him? If you could trade places with someone for a day, who would it be? Well, I think it would either be a popular YouTuber or a popular and successful filmmaker, because I want to know what it feels like to actually be at the point I want to achieve. Yeah, I think that would be right. Either that or someone like really, really poor, because I'll know what it's like and I can appreciate what I have even more. On the other hand, the poor person would be me for a day and he would have like luxury, like western luxury and stuff, and then after that not having it anymore. So yeah, that, that, huh. I don't know about that one, but most likely a YouTuber or a filmmaker. Choose being blind, deaf or unable to speak. I would go for deaf probably because well I, I know if I'm deaf I can't hear myself speak but you know assuming I will be able to properly speak I'll still ha I have to go with deaf because I, I don't want to lose my eyesight because that, that's like my you have a, you're like quite handicapped and you can't see unfortunately and yeah I, I work with visuals and I, I would want to keep my eyesight really. And um, speaking is something I do a lot. And I think if I would be really unhappy when I would be unable to express myself. And hearing, yeah, that, I also don't want to lose that, but I think that would make me the least unhappy. 
I, I assume, I'm not sure, but I, I know I wouldn't want to lose my eyesight. If you would be someone for, of the opposite sex, what's the first thing you would like to know? What it's like to have sexual intercourse? Oh wait, I don't know that now. <laughs> No, I, I don't know really. I think maybe like the, the full package, knowing what it's like in society, knowing, try, figuring out what it's like to, I don't know, I, basically just the experience, I think. That, that will be, yeah. It would be confusing though to go to the bathroom because, you know, the habit, I would probably walk into the men's room and then we're like, oh, oops, I'm sorry. So yeah, basically that. So yes, those were all of the questions I had. I'll probably do a Q&A in the future again because I like doing Q&As, but maybe when I have a little more subscribers because, you know, there weren't that many questions, even though, it, you know, there were enough, but still. Okay, anyway, I really hope you liked this video and thank you so much for watching and see you later, guys.